Floor State is 1-0 and oh when Corey rocks the Vitamin Energy mm. War Chant t-shirt or polo. Uh, this is the uh, Vitamin Energy War Chant wrap. We're coming here from Death Valley where Florida State wins 31-24 to 24 in overtime. You already knew that if you're clicking on this video. But, man, what an incredible win. After the first quarter, Corey, what, do you, mm. what were you giving the Knowles chances? Not great. Not great, Ira. Uh, by the way, uh, Vitamin Energy, I think, is undefeated since they've That's become a, a sponsor. Uh, Florida point. State has not lost, so I don't want to, I don't know if there's any correlation there, probably but is. probably is. Uh, no, I was, uh, I thought, oh boy, this isn't a, this isn't a great showing. <laughs> the defense is just going to get run over and run through, uh, mainly passed over, I should say, passed around. And run through some. And, and some there, at the, but, uh, and then the offense struggled. And the offense, I mean, those last two drives at the end of the first half were critical. Because that the offense played pretty not good yeah. for some insightful pretty not analysis. Good. Pretty not good. Um, for basically the whole game. Um, they can't run the ball, but you know what? They're 4-0 and they just beat Clemson and Death Valley for the first time in 10 years. So this is it. If yeah. you're looking for a bunch of complaints about the way Florida State just beat Clemson, go to somewhere else because yeah. you're not going to get it here. You guys have to check out somebody else's post-game reaction yeah. video. Uh, I mean, this this win is huge for Florida State. It's huge yes. for in so many ways. Um, in one way, you know, it was a, I think it's a validation for Mike Norvell and what he's done with this program. You yeah. know, Dabo Sweeney, from a big picture standpoint, has been Mr. I'm not going to touch the portal and I'm going to let you have this portal, go portal guys. And yeah. we're about our culture and our homegrown uh, program and that's cool. I mean, it would have been yeah. that would have been the story for them if they won, but yeah. they didn't. They did not. In Florida State, uh, you know, really in the second half, second quarter was huge. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like back and forth the whole yeah. game. First quarter was Clemson. Second quarter, Florida State. Florida State had a chance to take control in the game in the third quarter. They tied it up, got the ball back after a three and out, and had a chance to really go up, but they didn't. And then it looked like they're on life support again. And then Kalen Deloach gets a strip sack, scoop and score, 54 yard touchdown, and got them back in the game. Well, look, and I had I had basically written an obit on Adam Fuller at halftime. Right. I mean, that was a really poor performance against a not. You know, my ex-wife Shanna, I know you're watching, texted me like, "Why do they make every quarterback look so awesome?" And it was true. Like that first half, Klubnik looked. He was. I mean, he, he made give some, him some really credit, good man. throws. He made yeah. some tough throws, so, uh, and the receivers made great catches. But too. also win some battles, I, I guys. But but the point being, in the second half, you you talked it during the game. Like they were getting close. Like yeah. Klubnik made some throws from his back almost uh, into blitzes for for you know I think it was a pass to the tight end down to the one. He made some really big time throws while being hit. They finally got home on a blitz, um, and it's a huge play. Like obviously Deloach makes a great play. Fisk with the. I mean, that's as good a pass as a Florida State defensive lineman has ever made. Deloach said he didn't get the assist. Yeah, I mean, that's a great pass by Fisk. Heady play. Um, but, you know, credit to Fuller for calling in that it moment. It was a well-designed blitz, too. He, yeah. He snuck inside. Some of them aren't maybe yeah. necessarily the, the best well-designed. But And I just said to you, Ira, I think I just said, like, when Florida State had just punted, and I'm like, look at how Clemson looks right. like they're going to blitz. They, then they back off. They come from another angle. They're always trying to confuse, and you never see Florida State really do that. And then what do you know? Strip sack, fumble, tie game. You. Yeah. So uh, that, that's a, obviously a huge play by Kalen Deloach, but a big time, a big time play being dialed up by your defensive coordinator. Who you look, man? The defense scored as many as it gave up in the second half right. in this building. So credit to them. They they played terribly in the first half. Were very just disappointed pointing for me because it wasn't like last week where they were breakdowns, I didn't yeah. think. They just got beat. The, the yeah. quarterbacks got beat on some plays, but I thought in the second half they played really, really well. Yeah, a lot of it was some good throws, some good catches by Clemson, but a lot of missed tackles, um, just a lot of tentative play, not really forcing the issue, letting yeah. them catch those slants over and over and over again. And then the offense, you know, again, they were they were struggling early yeah, too, but didn't help. and struggled late. Yeah, really a lot late. when they had a chance to. Yeah, exactly. It could have got it could have got away from them twice. And then what a crazy story. Corey all week was saying this because this was going to be a Disney story. Yeah. Was Clemson brings their kicker, Jonathan Whites, I believe is his name, who wasn't on the team a week, a week ago. He was in Charleston, he was chilling, taking, taking, taking grad online classes. classes at Clemson and was getting ready to move to New York. Their starting kicker was I wonder one if he can get back to that apartment. I wonder if the guy uh, subletted it or if he can, if he can go started, ahead and follow through. Their starting with it. kicker was one for four. Yeah. And uh, they bring him out for a 30 yarder. Dabo maybe was playing for the field goal there, which is a little bit questionable. Kid, yeah. Well, well, as I said, he he thought it was preordained. Legitimately, he's like, this is a this is an unbelievable story. Of course, he's going to make it. We're Clemson. I'm Dabo. This is going to happen. He shanked it. And let's be honest, folks. If it's not a horse blank call on Renardo Green right. on a third down in that drive, it wouldn't have come down to that moment anyway. Like, like Florida State clearly got lucky with him missing the 30-yard field goal. I thought Clemson was fortunate to get that call right. on the defensive pass interference because I didn't think it was pass interference. Certainly not in that spot. My man threw it. 
from 40 yards away. He wanted to show off his. Uh, he's also the guy that threw the flag in the end zone on Tatum Bethune on a right. on a hold. He called a hold um, earlier in the game. But yeah, it, it it didn't. We can say that if they make that field goal, they win the game, and it would it probably might have it probably would have played out like that. But again, I don't know that it gets. It shouldn't have come down to the field goal because he they would have been punting in that spot. Yeah, Florida State did not run the ball very well as you don't said before. Say that. Ira, they had, they had <laughs> they twenty one. They turned the. They I think they had twenty one yards. Did not run the ball very well, but they also were determined to keep throwing the ball. And Jordan Travis talked about it after the game. Keon Coleman talked about it after the game as well. And they basically said, look, man, if you're going to play man against us all day, when we've got Keon Coleman and Johnny Wilson, they're disrespecting the receivers. And Jordan said, you're also disrespecting me at the quarterback. And Jordan admitted he missed some throws, and they didn't come up with some big plays. But, man, they kept at it. And they just they had some huge ones down the stretch, including the one for 24 yards in overtime. I thought it was great for Florida State to get the ball first. I thought, yeah, probably, you know, yeah. Especially getting that yeah. touchdown. They put pressure on a young quarterback. Yeah. And, uh, man, what – Question, another questionable play, play call there by Clemson on third one. They, th- they That throw must it. be a read. That's the quarterback's decision. Right. I don't think they told him to do it. He thought they had numbers. I have not seen the replay, so I apologize. But one of whoever that Florida State DB was uh, made it a great read right. to get up there and, and tackle. Then all of a sudden you go from third and an inch where you think, okay, we're going to get first down to the 13-yard line, to now, oh, God, the game's on the line. And then it, they panicked, and it, fourth and threes can be really hard to get in overtime when you need it. Um, yeah, man, I want to point this out, too. Like, that last drive that Florida State had where they had they were probably five or six yards from trying a game-winning yeah. field goal attempt. Let's not lose sight of, even though it didn't matter, and everybody knows I'm a big proponent of this kid, but Johnny Wilson making two huge catches. The first one down the sideline, the hands catch, and then the third down, because you have no idea how the game goes if you don't run more clock. Right, no, that's a good if point. You have to punt after yeah. the, oh, if you have to punt again and Clemson gets the ball back at its own 30, yeah. or maybe it's own six the way Master Mono was punting because he was he, – Master Mono had a great game. Um, had four punts over 50 yards, had a 59-yarder. Um, but Johnny Wilson making those catches, even though it didn't result in a game-winning field goal, it got you to overtime, and it made sure Clemson didn't get the ball back with a chance to go give that kid redemption. It would have been dicey. Clemson was out of timeouts at that point. Um, so you got, you got the ball back with, what, a minute and 45 seconds? I mean. Mike Grover would have had some decisions to make if you threw in complete. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, about throw, running the ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is he going to run the ball yeah. and concede? Or is but he that gonna... third down catch by Johnny yeah, man, across was the middle was a, was a huge so play. They, they get down to the 40-yard line, to your point. And that's why I didn't love some of the calls there, because if you just get five or eight more yards, Ryan Fitzgerald has a chance to win this game. And the way he's been kicking, you got a good shot hey that's uh, a huge kick you made a 48 yeah. yarder their guy missed the 30 yarder that's and, that's uh, the difference in the game but you go to overtime and win it man it's just huge for this program that's 10 straight wins for florida state they snapped the losing streak that's one straight over clemson and they had lost seven straight times they would have been eight but thankfully 2020 didn't happen and uh <laughs> they haven't right. won here in this building since 2013 we know Jameis is smiling uh about the Knowles getting this win yeah and uh again i want to point out jordan travis like look he was he didn't have a great day you you guys have to understand it's gutsy though man. it's unbelievably gutsy because he's not right and he yeah. took some big hits we all saw it we know something happened to the shoulder and he wasn't running and that's you want to know why they ran for 21 yards well when they know your quarterback who's a huge running threat can't run at all can't pull it at all uh, so my point being on that last drive when they get to the 39 i think healthy ish jordan travis that he's going to carry once for seven or eight yards he'll get you a chance they just didn't have that option so that's why they took so many shots downfield because that was kind of all they could be relegated to do and as he said he said disrespected like four times yeah about the way they defended them. Um, and, you know, look, you can roll your eyes because they struggled mightily at times, but when it mattered, they still decided to play Keon Coleman one-on-one outside. Jordan made a throw he had to make. Keon makes a catch. That's big time, especially from the game he had last week. I, I had a feeling he'd have a nice bounce back. He did. Um, and, yeah, man, this is an enormous win because you don't even feel like they're you're playing clicking. All that well, yeah. You're not even really clicking these last two weeks, certainly these last two weeks, and you're 4-0. You're 4-0. And you've beaten LSU on a neutral field, and you've won at Clemson. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, three years ago, Ira, we <laughs> thought they were going to shut down the program. We thought it was wraps. And then here you are three years later. You're 4-0. You're going to be the ranked third or fourth in the country. And you, you have all but... Uh, eliminated Clemson from the ACC championship race because now you would have to lose three times for them to have a tiebreaker over you and you have a real good chance at Charlotte now you got yourself a little breathing room and you're just you get a, you, bye, week you get a bye week which is enormous to get guys healthy and then you get Virginia Tech after that so you, you're staring straight at a 5-0 and start it's not it's not counting uh, you're right Hokies. I, saw, I apologize I apologize talking Hokies. About the Hokies too they but are yeah, chickens. Uh, with turkeys I think that family uh, 
the other thing about this win, look, man, Clemson had some adversity too. Their top wide receiver, Antonio Williams, yes. uh, did not play today. The right guard didn't play. Uh, the, one of their offensive linemen did not play. So they're dealing with some adversity too. They had to take a kicker off the waiver wire this yeah. week. But Florida State, man, you're in the stadium. You've lost this game seven straight times. It's It was loud, man. This place was rocking, and they're up 10 nothing. then they're up 17-7. Yeah, Mike Norvell said after the game, "I wouldn't have wanted it any other way." Right. I don't know if I buy yeah, that. I think he would seven would have been fun. I think <laughs> but, for Mike. But it does say a lot, man. It just said, it's a validating win for this team to be in that situation against a good team. Clemson's not what they were probably, but they're a good team. And their quarterback played well. It's a and, huge and, win. And a, a hungry Clemson team. A Clemson team. You talk about feeling disrespected. Right. They read everything the last three weeks. They told that Florida State was the the new the new uh, you know beast. Top I was going to say the beast of the East, but that doesn't make any sense in any context. The beast of the Atlantic. The man of the Atlantic. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah. So they've been told all week. They 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 people have been kicking dirt on their grave, and they came out and played really well. I thought the quarterback looked good. Man, that kid could be an issue. Could yeah, be a problem good. moving forward. He he had made some really nice plays. And he got hit a lot. He did get hit a lot. He's a tough kid. And uh, but I thought the run defense. They gave up a couple yeah. of runs. They gave up the huge run in the third quarter, which was the only big the big bust they had. And then Deloach made the play two plays later to to turn the game around. But yeah, I I just think again when you when you look at the macro when you take a thousand foot ten thousand foot view of of where this program is. Yes, there are things that need to be corrected. It's not p- perfect. Nobody is. There aren't any teams in the country right now that are perfect. But uh, by the way, my brother-in-law told me that I do this all the time with I my glasses. I think other people would agree. Yeah, I don't know. I got to stop. I'm, Why I'm do not you wear them for this, this. Like you don't have to see anything. Because I look smart. Oh, okay, my bad. I forgot what I was saying, Ira. You, you, but if you, but it's a, <laughs> it doesn't but it's, matter. It's, you look smart. It's a huge win. It, it is a huge win yeah. for this program, man. And it just, I hope Florida State fans. Yes, you can wring your hands about certain things, but that is a gutty win. I'm not even sure you deserve to win. Dare I say they outgained you by 100 Hush. yards? Um, they missed a 30-yard field goal with the kid on his way to New York, but you did win, and that's not something that's happened a lot clearly in this in this rivalry in the last decade. Um, so take them when you can get them, man. That's that's a that's a gutty win on the road, two in a row really, where you could say you you maybe didn't deserve to win, but you know what, you won, and you're 4-0. We're all happy. You get a bye week. You know you can, you know how you could celebrate this big win with a little BOGO vitamin energy cord. Vitamin energy. War chant. War chant BOGO, right? <laughs> buy one, get one. Go to the uh, vitaminenergy.com. Right here. That's the promo code WARCHANT. Do we get these polos away, Aslan, or are they just for the talent? Just you might. Talent. Maybe you'll sign yours a, sign yours that, and throw I'll it to the crowd. I'll do that for the, for the Virginia Tech game. If y'all, yeah. if y'all want to hang around, I'll sign it and throw it to you guys You in the said crowd. if they went 4-0, you were going to run down the hill and yeah, touch the rock. Yeah, but Aslan said it's time to go. Anyway, we're going to sign off from Death Valley. Where Florida it, State has a one-game winning streak. Whose house is it? Jaheim Bell says it's his house. He's won two straight two and games so is Gil here. Redman. Gil it, Redman. It, it is. It's Jaheim. both their house. I would say it's uh, Norvell's house. He's 1-1. Right. and He's been close. He feels it's fine. It's fine. New beast in the East. We'll the talk Noles to you, are back. Talk to you next time. We have complete coverage at warchant.com. Videos, all these videos. We've got stories and columns coming. Uh, plenty of coverage going into the bye week. Warchant.com.